Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooksby Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I am going to show you guys how to get dewy glossy makeup using products that are 100% safe for fungal acne. So for quite some time, dewy glowy makeup has been the reigning queen of makeup trends. And you can scour the internet and find any number of people showing you how to get the look, but those people tend to be using products I wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole. Comment the alien head emoji right now if you have ever been subjected to putting Waleda skin food all over your face in an attempt to get glowy, dewy, beautiful skin. I know I'm not alone in this, and it is not something you want to do if you have fungal acne. In fact, one of the things that made me really sad when I found out that I had fungal acne was that I was going to have to pitch that Waleda skin food along with a lot of my other favorite products that were helping me to obtain this dewy glow that I was always chasing after. And when I did more research, I found out that most of the fungal acne safe makeup products out there are actually mattifying products. And that just doesn't seem like anything that I really want to use. But I'm here to tell you guys, you can achieve dewy, glowy skin even with matte products. Because the secret to glowy, dewy skin isn't only about the products that you're actually using. It's actually more about your skincare routine, the way that you apply those products, and the technique that you use to create that base that you're going to need. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to get dewy, glowy, fungal acne friendly makeup. Let's do this. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and talk skin prep. So I'm here now with no makeup on. This is how my skin looks currently after a whole year of a fungal acne journey. You can probably tell very easily I still have a little bit of uneven skin tone, some redness in areas, and there's obviously a few imperfections. However, that is just part of natural skin. It's gonna happen every now and again. You'll get some pimples. Don't freak out about it. And one thing that doesn't read as well on camera for me is that I do have still some scarring from those really severe acneic years. However, I am so proud of where I've come to this point. And just remember, let this serve as your reminder that it does take time to get good skin. And then also, if you guys are just starting your fungal acne journey and you want to know more about good skincare habits, you can check out my AM and PM routines. I will link them up there so you guys can click on them now and then in the down bar below as well. All right, so let's go ahead and prep our skin together for this look. So, you know, in true YouTube fashion, I'm just going to pin back my hair. All right, so I've got my purified water in a glass bottle. This is just plain purified water, and I'm going to spritz it all over my face. You can count however many spritz I'm doing. This feels so good. I'm like obsessed with how it feels. But I like to get my skin so that it looks nice and kind of moist. Um, not that it's like dripping, dripping wet, but it's pretty saturated with water. And now I'm going to go in with my hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. And this part be a little bit less is more. So one little drop there, one tiny drop on that cheek. You can see it's a little stringy and one tiny drop on that cheek. And then I'm gonna gently just start rubbing this in with my fingertips all over my skin very lightly. Now, hyaluronic acid is something that I preach like nonstop because it's literally a humectant and it's gonna hold on to that water and press it onto your skin. Just keep it sitting there on your skin so that you have this nice, bouncy, beautiful, hydrated looking skin. That's why I can't live without it. And it's completely safe to use hyaluronic acid every single day. Although it's an acid, it's not one of those more astringent or exfoliating types of acids. It's actually just one that's gonna sit on your skin, hold water against it which is why it can actually hold up to a thousand times its weight. I'm gonna go in one more time with my spritzing bottle just to seal this deal. All right, so I'm gonna kinda of let that settle down into my skin, and then as it is drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my moisturizer that I use every day on my skin, um, face, and body, and that is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. If you're looking for one that is glycerin-free and one that's just a little bit lighter or more directly formulated for your face, I think that the Fab Beauty Coconut Water Cream is also a really good option, and it doesn't have glycerin in it if you're kind of one of the glycerin freaks out there. All right, so I'm taking that much, which is a good little bit, but I just, my skin will drink all of this in so easily because I do tend to be on the drier side. So I'm gonna put that on my fingertips, and then I'm just gonna start patting that and rubbing that gently into my skin to kind of lock everything down into place and hold on to all that good moisture. 
And I'm going to let this dry down a good little bit before I move on to the next step because if we don't, then what's gonna happen is everything's gonna kind of slide off or not go on effectively in the first place. All right, so we are on to the next step, which is going to be sunscreen. This is a step that you cannot avoid because this is your number one anti-aging product that you should be using every single day. And for this specific kind of a look, this product by Polish Choice, the Polish Choice Clear Daily Hydrating Fluid SPF 30 is going to give you that nice glowy finish to your skin that's gonna show up underneath the makeup on top of all this already glowy goodness that we've already done and really help things along. There's a teaspoon per like however many whatever body parts, but I usually use about a full tablespoon for my face because I have a big head. I'm going to bring this all down my neck and you can see all the like shine that that's adding to my skin right now. Now this is another moment after the heavy moisturizer and after sunscreen, you're gonna want this all to set down for a good two minutes and then we're gonna get right into the rest of this. Okay. So we are dried down as much as I really need it to be and you can see my skin is looking really glossy and dewy at this moment. So naturally now that we have a nice dewy looking base, we need to add even more oil to get that final result. So enter the Biosance 100% Squalane Oil. This is the kind that I like to use. There are other ones out there, but whichever one you have, go ahead and get that out right now. I'm gonna take just like a half a pump, which is like barely any, onto my palms and I'm gonna rub it between my hands. I might do a little more than half a pump. And then I'm going to use my fingertips to gently press this oil onto the high points of my face only. Do not put this everywhere, only the high points. So your cheekbones where you wanna be a little more glossy and shiny um, all the time. And I might put a little up here on my forehead. Now in high school, we would have just called this oily skin and we did everything to avoid this, including carrying clean and clear, oil blotting papers, and CoverGirl powder compacts in our purses at all times, starting in middle school. Go ahead and drop me a hand raise emoji in the comments section if you also did that, because that's just the truth. Now this is the part where you can take creative liberty. If you would like to put some of this onto your nose, go right ahead, but this schnoz needs no help being big and standing out by itself, so I'm definitely not going to be putting it there, but to each their own. If you guys wanna know how my nose got so perfect and crooked, go ahead and push like and drop a comment below, and maybe I'll make a whole video about how it got broken and all the fun things that it's been through in its life. All right guys, it is the moment you have all been waiting for. It is actually time to put the makeup on. So you can see all of this shine we've got going on. This is gonna work so well to our benefit. Now, I'm just gonna have to use a little towel here to wipe off my palms so that I don't drop this makeup brush. Now, I'm going to be using my favorite fungal acne safe foundation, and that is the Lancome Tint Edol Ultra Wear Foundation. This stuff has more of a normal to matte type of effect on the skin, but I would say that it dries down pretty quickly in my experience, so you do have to work a little bit faster with it. For your information, I am the color 215 Buff Neutral, Buff In. I'm going to take one pump onto the back of my hand, so that much, and this is the Real Techniques setting powder brush that I've had for literally years and years and years, and it never dies. So it's such a great brush. It's kind of a medium tapered blending type of a brush. And I'm going to just dip this into the product and then I'm gonna go straight into my T-zone. And you can see that coverage is pretty good already. Um, but I like to start kind of like on the sides of my nose, the edge, and then go over my nose like this. And the key here is to get the product kind of placed around your skin but avoid the higher points of your face right now where you put all that oil because we're gonna try to concentrate the product to the middle of our face and then have less foundation going outwards because less is more with this whole approach. This is one of those things where you want your actual skin to show up underneath your foundation. That's also why we're only using one pump. For those of you who don't have such a large you know, surface area to your face, you might be able to get away with only half a pump or even less, it just depends, but I generally do use one full. So I'm gonna start going in very small circular motions and just buffing this out. And I'm gonna look in my mirror, which is over here. And I'm just gonna go all through the T-zone and then start blending it onto the cheeks and the forehead in that area. 
Whatever product is on the back of your hand, you'll notice it starts to dry down, so you wanna really place the product before you start blending. And here, guys, again, like I was doing with all of the other products that I've been using on my skin, you just wanna go really light with your touch because that's going to help it sit on the skin in a way that makes it look dewier as well. So dewy skin isn't just about your skin prep and your products, it's also a lot about the application um, and your technique as well. Also, while I'm sitting here blending all this makeup, if you guys want some more foundation recommendations, I have a video where I recommend four of the Fungal Acne Safe Foundations and tell you guys the ins and outs of each one and what I like about the different ones. So you can watch that, I'll link it right now as well. All right, so that's pretty much that. I've got all the coverage that I truly want. Now, funny thing happened to me, but in quarantine, I actually started to prefer my face without makeup. And so I've started to have a lot more of a less is more approach to my makeup and I don't wear full like globs of foundation like I might have used to once upon a time. I usually now also skip concealer, but I wanna show it for the purpose of this video. You just wanna be careful. We don't need to go full on Kim K, Kylie Jenner kind of a thing here. We want to use concealer the way that it's actually intended to be used. So to conceal any like little spots or imperfections that we have on our skin, and that's pretty much it. So my recommendation would actually be the Hourglass Veil, which is not truly a concealer, but more of a touch-up kind of a product, and it's supposed to be very hydrating. I think this is a really good option if you just need to get a little bit of coverage under your eyes. But if you're having a few breakouts like on your chin area and above your lip like I am right now, you might want something a little bit heavier. And for that, I really recommend the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. This is my all-time favorite concealer. This color is natural and I will admit that it's a little bit dark for me right now. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit on the back of my hand and actually mix in. Um, a little bit of the hourglass veil so that I can get a tone that's a little more accurate to my skin. And then I'm gonna just gently take the same brush that I've been using with my foundation. I'm gonna kinda lightly mix these together and I'm just going to start dotting this right here on top of all the little imperfections that I have. Underneath my eyes, I'm just gonna put like a tiny little mark, tiny little mark there and then I like to put a mark on the end right there, not a full swipe, because then we're gonna blend it out better. And then on the places where you do have your spots covered, let it sit there for just a second, and we'll work on this eye area, and we'll start tapping it in with the brush, or you can do the tap in with your fingertip. Now, even if you guys are watching this and you're not someone who suffers from fungal acne, these techniques that I'm using here are actually going to really help you guys as well create that dewy look. So this may not just be for someone who has fungal acne. You can share this video with your friends who just want to know how to get a dewy makeup look. This has been sitting, so we're going to go ahead and buff these little pimple patches in. And that literally is all the concealer that we're going to use. You can go a little heavier if you want to, but I really just don't think it's necessary when you're doing this kind of a look. All right, guys, so now it is time to go in with your blush or bronzer. I really recommend sticking to a cream product here if you wanna get the dewiest look. However, if you have a powder, that's fine as well. Just be very careful on how you place it so you don't take away any of the shine that you wanna actually keep on your face. So for me, I am going in with this Flesh Squeeze, and it's this little bronzing stick. They have different colors of these, but I use this one as a bronzer. I'm just going to literally put a, a couple little dots of it right here on the top of my cheekbone where I would want it to be um, kind of further back and then a little bit again on my forehead actually a little bit more you can really see it show up on my forehead and this isn't really a contour method this is really just to try to get it placed where I can buff it out that the Sun would have kissed me more naturally so I'm gonna use a fluffy brush to kind of buff this in and I'm really gonna keep this concentrated towards more my ears um, not the center of my face as much. For blush, I'm also going to use another product by Flesh, and this is actually a lip product, but I use it as a blush or a lipstick. It's the Flesh Jiggly, and I'll get the official name. They have different weird little names for all of these. And I'm gonna take a fluffy highlighter brush, actually by e.l.f. I'm gonna dip it in here lightly, and I'm gonna go ahead and with this cream product, 
start applying it to the apples of my cheeks and blending it backwards. Now, see, you can see all this color here, and if that color is a little bit too much pigment for you, like you're not happy with it and it makes you feel a little funky, then all you have to do is take this same brush that we were using with our actual foundation earlier, right after you apply it, and just blend it out. So, this step is gonna sound really counterintuitive, but it's absolutely necessary if you want to get this makeup to stay all day. So I am using the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. It's the banana powder specifically. The only thing I don't like about this is the container because you can't use the lid for the actual powder. So I'm gonna be resourceful here and put a little of this into a different product lid that I can tap out. So I've got a little here. And I'm going to take a clean setting powder brush by Real Techniques. I'm gonna tap my brush into it and kind of twirl it around so it doesn't have a lot in it and tap out the excess. I don't know if you can see the smoke, but I can. And when you're doing your setting powder, all you wanna do is apply it to the areas of your T-zone and around the shiny parts that you wanna keep so that it kind of creates a border and then hopefully it won't move beyond that border. So I'm literally just gonna go right here, right beneath my eyes and right next to my nose, on top of my nose a little bit. And a little bit of this goes a long way and all you really need to do with it is gently press it against your skin and it will transfer down. And then I am gonna put a tiny bit here because I just get so shiny here and I don't really like it to look this shiny as it already comes across on the camera. I'm gonna put a little on my chin. And then, like I told you before, we're gonna kind of um, just gently tap it around those high points so that hopefully that slickness will get trapped into those cheekbone areas and you can do the same type of a thing with your nose. Okay, and it's literally that simple. Put it a little bit around my nose because that area tends to get greasy first. And that just kind of takes away some of that shine. I'm not sure how well you can really tell that it did, but I can definitely notice in person that it's a lot more matte through here. And then it's more shiny just on my cheeks and kind of right up here on that part of my forehead where I just really want the sun to hit me and the light to hit me. And it's super glam, it looks great. So this video is only about dewy skin, so I'm gonna do my eye makeup off camera and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so I have put on all of my eye makeup and I wanted to come back with one final step that is completely optional, but wanted to throw this out here for you guys. If you're still craving a little bit more glowiness, which I personally am not, but I'm gonna do it for the sake of this video, there's two products that I would highly recommend to help you finish off this look. They're both by Flesh Beauty. Another one is one of these little flesh sticks, like the one that I used as a bronzer, and this is in the color Pinky and you literally can dab this just on the high points. So if I did that, um, I usually just use it straight from. You can just dab that in and it kind of solidifies um, that shine, adds a little bit extra to there. I think you can kind of see where that's picking up if I go down, move my head right there. And then they also have, one of their original products is the Flesh Pot, and I still have it in the original color. It's this orangey pink iridescent gel stuff that you put on. And it's got little sparkly flecks in it. And I would just take a tiny dab and literally dot that on to my skin right there and that's going to give you more of the wet kind of a glossy look as opposed to more of the just shiny look well really they're both pretty crazy i'm seeing i'm seeing a lot of reflection like poppy highlighter look here and then i'm seeing a lot of wetness right through here so they're both really good finishing options. You could also put a little on your nose if you guys are into that kind of thing. You can put a little bit between your eyes if you like. On your chin, some people do all the points. I just don't feel like I need all the points. I try to keep it high, highlighted to the cheeks. So that is gonna be me finished up. Take out these clips, shake out your hair, um, put on a lip if you so choose, and you can go about your day just like that with your new glossy skin look. So just remember guys, all of these products are fungal acne safe and they are all linked in the bar below, but these products would also work wonderful for anyone who just wants to achieve dewy skin and doesn't really care about fungal acne. The other really exciting thing that I have to share with you guys is that you can not only shop these products in the link bar below, but you can go to brooksbeautybazaar.com, which has been fully updated, and you can shop all my favorite products right there in one place, as well as get all your fungal acne resources. 
go have a look around there. And otherwise, I will see you guys on Instagram where I hang out every single day.